Hi, my name is Andrew Potts and this evening I'm going to show you how the Codemasters CD Gains Pack for this Sinclair Spectrum worked. First of all, let's see what we got inside the box. Right then, first thing we notice here is that this is the uh, this is the CD to joystick cable uh, that allows you to uh, load the games from the CD to your Spectrum. And here we've got the uh, we've got the CD loader software on cassette that allows the Spectrum to load from the CD via the cable. Uh, here we've actually got the, the actual CD itself, the 30 games on, and of course uh, the rest is the uh, we've got the manual and the registration card. Now we have looked at what's inside the box. Let's get it up and running, shall we? Right, then. here's my uh, ZX Spectrum Plus 3. This is the one with the built-in disk drive. Uh, that's the machine that we're going to be using, and uh, as, as you can see, it's uh, been uh, turned on already. Uh, we've got the CD player as well, which has also been turned on. Right, and now, first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to insert the CD into the CD player. So uh, let's just do that. Sometimes it doesn't shut properly. I don't know why. But <laughs> uh, right, and we need to make sure. Right, Need to make sure that all the base is down and the treble is up. And now we should have, uh, yep, it's come up with 66 tracks and it's 72 minutes and 44 seconds long. Uh, the reason why it's got 66 tracks on there instead of 30 is because uh, uh, the first track on the CD, there's a, it's like a, um, a volume test track. Uh, so that uh, you can t test the volume of the uh, Oh, so you can test the loading volume of the games to make sure that they, uh, to make sure that it's uh, lo that it's going to load all right, and then uh, then tracks two to thirty three are the actual games themselves. Uh, I think there's about two or three games that come up, that take up like two tracks because there's like uh, two different versions of them, and um, and the last, and then track thirty four. It's like a slideshow demonstration featuring a number of game screens, and then, um, and then the tracks that are on or after that are simply the games repeated again. Because uh, one thing that Codemasters did that was quite nice was that they put each game on twice. So if you load up the first one and it uh, doesn't load, uh, chances are it's like the CD's uh, scratched or something. So therefore the sound is like skipping and jumping. Uh, you can load up the second version of the game. Anyway, now that we've put in the CD, uh, just need to put in the plug in the joystick cable. So it goes into the headphone socket and then we've got uh, this bit here, uh, the joystick bit. Uh, we're going to plug this into the into the Kempston port. You can also plug this into the Sinclair port too, but I seem to have problems with that. I don't know why, but I just do. <laughs> but anyway, so now that's all plugged in, and now we need to load up the loader software which I've uh, got here. So it's the tape. It's uh, it's all the way around to the beginning, and uh, it's recorded. The loader program is recorded about four times on the tape. So uh, here we go. Let's load it up. And uh, as with uh, all Spectrum games, they Take just a you know, couple of minutes to go. Uh, they take a couple of minutes to load, depending on size. But this is only about 4K in size, so it loads up in about I think just under a minute. It should uh, start loading any second. Ah, here we go. And of course, uh, as well as the striker borders, you should be able to hear the famous Spectrum sound. This is kind of program. CD games on there because you can't see it because I can't see it very well on my screen. <laughs> and the button where it says bytes code. And here we go. It's, it's only two blocks, about 4K in size. Yeah, first block is the loader program. Yeah, well, it's the, it's the loader program for the loader. And then, the, of course, it's the machine code part. Hey, here we go. This is the main screen, so I'll stop the tape. 
and now it's his uh, cheese itch port to lay from uh, we're laying from Kempston so we press K and it just says plug cable into CD and uh, well we've already done that haven't we so press enter right now we need to do on the test track so I press space and uh, board has come up green it shouldn't do that so this is what I need to do I need to shift the spectrum slightly in a few places and oh. ah that's better uh, the border needs to be red it's just that my my I think it's my, I think it might be my Kempston joystick adapter it's a bit loose anyway now that's done uh, make sure all the, we need to make sure the volume on halfway is down to zero and then we press play you should play the first track which is obviously the CD volume test now we need to hang on it's gone green again it shouldn't do that that's better so then it needs to go like a flashy sort of green and then it needs to go fully green so right that's on at the max now so that's on the max and volume so stop the CD and because the board should turn because it's not hearing anything press space bar and now we need to press uh, the Q, U and I and T buttons the keys together so hang on I just need to change hands because I'm much better with my right than I am with my left <laughs> so Okay, so you can press the Q, U, I, and T keys together, and then yeah, it should say select and play track on CD. Right, before we do that, we need to obviously select which game we want to play. So uh, let's go and do that, shall we? Now the list is located in the manual. Let's uh, say we wanted to load up Treasure Island Dizzy, which is track number three. Let's go and do that. So what we do? It's we just put it onto track number three and then we play the CD and then it should start loading. And here we go. Right no right now it's actually loading sound through the joystick cable and it's loading via the joystick port which uh to many is, is very very clever. And uh so now Treasure Iron Dizzy should uh should load. And there's the loading screen. Uh, should the, uh, we should get the game up in about ten seconds. And here we go. And you should be able to hear the music. Now what we do is we stop the CD, and there we go. And now what we do is you just play. So yeah, I've got a joystick. Let's have a bit of fun. Yeah, let's prove that it all works. Got the treasure chest. Yeah. And here you go. This is uh, a, a whole complete game loaded up. Uh, from the CD games pack and it's it plays just like the uh, the original tape version yeah so uh, and uh, another great thing about this is that uh, if you uh, do get bored all you have to do is press the Q U I and T keys together yeah I'll show you I'll just press Q. Yeah, that's what happens when you press the Q key. It quits the game and back to the title screen. But here you go, you just press the Q and I and T, I and T keys to go and the border should go grey. And that, my friends, is how the Codemasters CD Games Pack for the Sinclair Spectrum works.